Hello friends, you're with the Lonesome Gamer and I'm playing Talisman. This might be probably my last video now. We have to kill the Ice Queen. The Druid already died and because the Sorceress was already in the at the Crown of Command there will be no one to replace him. So it's only the Valkyrie and the Sorceress left now. And the Valkyrie actually has enough strength to have a good chance to kill the Ice Queen. But uh, on her first attempt to cross the inner region she terribly sucked here at the um, when when dicing with death. That was just uh, she was so unlucky there. She lost, I think, four life points. She had five, and now she only has one left. So she had to go back now, and she has to heal in the castle, and then she can try it again. So that might take a while. Um, During that time, the, the the sorceress, she also has to heal because she also has only one life point left. Um, she might go to the city and there are a few things that she can do there. She can heal there. She can um, change these two rubies into a lot of money. She can visit the enchantress and gain a reward from the... Um, from the warlock and uh, finally then with all that money she might go into the city and maybe improve her abilities for example at the temple or buy a magic ring something like that so we're gonna see about that and the sorceress goes first that's a two. And that could be this ritual master. Well, that doesn't really help her right now, but it's also not so bad. All the wasteland. Hmm. I think we go here to the ritual master, and nothing happens here. Only good and neutral characters. They will lose one life. And the, the bad ones then could take it, but there is nothing here that she could gain. And then the Valkyrie leaves the inner region. And again the Sorceress. That's a five this time. One, two, three, four, five. The woods. Three, four, five. The ruins. Still, I think she goes to the woods. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, if any one of them dies now, just because of a bad card or something, the game is over too, because then there's only one remaining. Okay, so that's, uh, again, Dark Denizens. For two rounds following this turn, whenever a character is instructed to draw adventure cards, he must draw Highland cards instead. Okay. So the Valkyrie now. She needs a 1 to go to the castle. That's a 2. Well, that's not so bad. She can go to the cathedral. And there she can then pray. And maybe that will give her one life point. If she's lucky. That's a four, and she's ignored there. And again, the sorceress. That's again this ritual master. Damn. Okay.
Yeah, great. That's a one. That's really cool. That brings her here. And now the Valkyrie. She can now heal. She's got three money left, so that's just enough to gain her full life points back. So now she can start a second attempt. Or well, actually, it's her third attempt to. Enter the inner region and uh, go to the crown of command. But before that happens, it's again the sorceress, and she's got a one now, too. Oh, I forgot something. She's got that fiend slayer as a follower. If you encounter a space with instructions to draw a car, one or more. You must draw one more card than required. Okay, so I think I had to do or to draw extra cards. At least here I forgot that, but I'm gonna do this right now. So I move here and I'm gonna draw an extra card now here. And that says Moon Mist, a Luna event. When revealed flip the the time card tonight. That's the case right now. Whenever a character rolls a die for his movement, he must roll an additional die and use the lowest result for his move. Okay. So. And the Valkyrie again, and she has to roll now two dice for movement. Yeah, great. That's a one, so that's not enough to pass the portal of power, so she can only move here to the mountain trail. And then, uh, again, the sorceress. And because of that moon mist, she might have a better chance now to enter the city, because she only needs a two. And, yeah, that's a five in this case. Again, a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the planes. She can draw two cards here, there, and... Okay, let's see what we got here. That's again an event. An avatar of justice. If you are of neutral alignment, gain one strength. If you are good or evil, she instead converts it to neutral. She then departs to the discard pile. Okay. So, first of all, this thing now becomes becomes day again, and the moon mist goes away. And now I'm neutral. Okay, let's see. Here we got this alignment card. So does that mean anything for... What about the Darkland wand? Can I use that? Yeah. Okay, I think I can use all my items if I'm neutral. And then we found that weapon here, Frostbite. Add one to your strength during battle. If you def if defeat a character in battle and choose to take a life, the character must also miss his next turn. Okay, that's basically the same as the... We had something like that before, didn't we? I think it was the ice fang or something, but that was for craft. Okay. So, and then uh, the Valkyrie tries to pass the portal of power. And uh, as long as she doesn't roll a 12, she will be able to do that. Oh, that's a 10, but that's enough. So she's now here in the plane of peril. And again, the sorceress with a 6, 3, 4, One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Well, that is now not that good because if she moves here, she will lose one life because she's neutral now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she's got to move here into the woods. And before I forget it, I will move this uh, this Grim Reaper. I just uh, want him away from me, so just move him here. Okay, and then I have to draw two cards. And I now made it through this whole uh, draw pile of cards here. I thought that would be enough, so I think I have to shuffle uh, more cards now. There are tons of cards in the box, but uh, I, I don't use them all usually. But in this case, I need it more than I thought. Okay, let's see, we got this Pit Fiend here. Pit Fiend has emerged from the inner region and is pillaging this area. It will remain here until it is killed. Okay, um, so this guy has a strength of 3 only because it's day. And I got a 6. And my two-handed sword, so I'm at 8. Yeah. Oh damn, I forgot. I could have used the flying carpet to get into the city because I rolled a six. That was stupid. But okay, now I've drawn the cards, so... Okay, I got an eight attack. Yeah, that's enough to kill the pit fiend. And let's see, it's not even that bad. It brings me now to a strength of seven. And let me see, we got... And... I think I've also drawn from the wrong pile because of the dark denizens. I've always drawn these cards. <sighs> or at least once. Ah, okay, but now it's too late. It's And then I can... I get this skull wand. No good character may have the skull wand. Add one to your strength in battle and two to your craft in psychic combat. That's amazing. That's a very powerful weapon now. Okay. She's not bad. But she has to heal before she can attempt to go back into the middle region, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Okay, and now it's uh, it's the um, Valkyrie in the crypt. She's got a strength of 11. So that's what she's allowed to roll. That's just a little too much. That's a 12. So, so she's got to go back to the plane of peril here. And the sorceress again. A one. Fantastic. So now she's neutral, so it's probably not the best idea. To go to the graveyard. So she moves to the sentinel. And now she will actually draw two of these Highland cards because of the Dark Denizens. But that is actually the last turn where this uh, card applies. Okay, so let's see, we got a narrow path here. The narrow path will remain here for the rest of the game. Roll one die for yourself and one for each of your followers. If a 1 or 2 is rolled for yourself, lose 1 life. If a 1 or 2 is rolled for a follower, it is killed. Okay. So now, that's a very critical moment. 
Oh man, is there anything I can do? No, that's a terrible card. Okay, so if I lose now, if I roll a one or two, game is over and I've fallen down the mountain here. So let's see, come on. Oh, that was damn close. That's a four and I'm still alive. Then for my mule, also good. Then it's the miner. Nah, he didn't make it. Okay, so the miner was killed. And that's a problem because it means I will lose a few items. But I can still carry eight items, so I give away the one, the, the, this uh, strange this object here I guess and uh, let's discard it here and that one goes here and then I'm fine I also could give away the talisman maybe I should I think I will give away the talisman instead I don't need that I got one and I keep that I keep this for now. Okay, and then I got to roll for this fiend slayer. And he made it. Okay, man, we were really lucky here. It's not a good idea to run around with only one life point left. And we got another place here, the pool of fortitude. Place a total of two strength and two life here when revealed. You may drink at the pool once per visit and either gain one strength or gain one life by taking the appropriate counter. That's great. That's fantastic. So I'm going to take one life here right away. That's a very good thing. So I might be actually able to get stronger here regain my life and then I might even try to move into the inner region but uh, well, one life goes to me actually but I need a little more time I can't do this right now and it's again now the Valkyrie and she rolls three dice in the crypt and that's enough she made it through the crypt and a three for the sorceress is in the fields and she then draws two cards and I gotta shuffle again Okay, so here in the fields, we're now meeting a succubus with a craft of three. If the succubus defeats you in psychic combat, in addition to losing one life, you must also lose one craft. So let, let's do it. Probably will not defeat me in psychic combat. Um, I got an eight. And I can use my skull wand now. So that gives me two additional. So I'm at 10. That's really good. And this Kubis only is, has a strength of 2 because it's day. So I can simply take this. And now I can actually trade these three cards. So that one is from here, that one is from the dungeon, and that's a regular one. Okay, and uh, I gain another craft. So actually this is not so bad. And then we got the market here. 
market has set up here for the rest of the game. On each visit you may buy available objects at these prices. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I only have two gold left, so I think I won't buy anything here, but it will stay there. And then, again the Valkyrie. So let's see. He tries another game and rolls two dice. That's a seven, not exactly great, but it could be enough. Yeah, this time she made it, it's a two. Death was rolling so bad, so yeah, she did it. And now she can really go for the victory. The sorceress has a three. And that brings her here, back onto this pool of fortitude, so she now can take another life point, and maybe she now must risk to enter the middle region if she wants to have a little chance to win this. And now, the werewolf den. Roll two dice for the werewolf strength, then fight it. Okay, so let's see. That's a nine. So she's got a strength now of ten, eleven, and then this Shemjir of Kamzin which brings her then to 13 and plus one in battle so she's got 14 and the werewolf has a minus one so he only has a strength of eight then so I do an attack ah. so that's a 15 but anyway the werewolf cannot win this okay Killed him. Very good. And now the sorceress. So that's a one and she, well, she tries to fight the sentinel. The sentinel only has a strength of eight because it's day. She's got a strength of six here. And in addition, she's got that two-handed sword which gives her two additional strength. So she is also... <clears throat> Wait a second, she could use the Darkland Wand. That would give her then a strength of nine. Yeah, she can do that. That's better. Okay, so she's got a strength of nine. And attacks and that is a 13 and then the sentinel rolls and that's more damn it okay so she loses another life point here and didn't manage to enter the middle region Fuck. well that was bad luck okay the valkyrie moves into the valley of fire now And the sorceress, she tries it again. I mean, there's... Yeah, she tries it again. Why not? So, she again has a strength of 9. And the other one has a strength of 8. So, first of all, she rolls. That's a 5. That says, that's a movement roll. That would bring her one, two, three, four, five. That would bring her to the castle where she could heal. That would be great. But okay, uh, and then she does she does her attack roll. 
Okay, that's again a 13 and now the Sentinel. Okay, this time she was good enough. She can move to the castle now. Pay to gold. And heal now. These two life points. But okay, then it's the Valkyrie. And now, see that here, like a real hero, she claims the crown of command and confronts the Ice Queen. And the Ice Queen now only has a strength of 11 because it's day. And the Valkyrie has a strength of 11 plus 1, 12 plus this uh, Shem Shear. That's a 14 then. So that could be enough actually. Now the Valkyrie attacks. Okay, that's a 17, and the ice cream needs a 6, no. Okay, that was the first life point of the ice cream. Then, again, the Valkyrie. That's definitely enough. Second point. And another one. Yep. Yeah. Again enough, we don't have to roll for the Ice Queen here. And this time, maybe a last roll, a last attack of the Valkyrie. And then she has won the game. Yes, that might be actually enough. A four, let me see, one last count. So that was a 12, a 14, no that's really... 12, 11, 12, 14, yeah, exactly, and the ice, and then it's an 18, yes, that's enough, the ice queen cannot get an 18, okay, so this is it, finally, the Valkyrie, she actually made it, and that was a long, long fight, a long quest and uh, it was closer than I thought I mean the sorceress was close if there would be would have been another alternative ending she uh, could have easily won this game she was at the crown of command but the ice queen she's just so tough to to kill so she simply wasn't strong enough there. And then in the end, the Valkyrie, that she was always in the lead in, in, in some way. And finally, eventually, she managed to win. Okay, I think we, we've seen a great game. Many expansion boards, lots of new cards. Um, I like this new small card expansion, the, the Fireland, I think it's called the Fireland expansion, yeah, where you, um, where these um, Ifrit um, people attack the land and destroy some spaces and so, and then you got these these new terrain cards. I think that's a nice idea. <clears throat> that can change the board quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun. It's definitely not the last session um, of Talisman you can see on my channel. There are lots of more expansions. Um, I'm expecting the forest expansion, which will bring another board. It has been announced by Fantasy Flight Games. I don't know, I think for 
fall or, or summer this year so that's pretty cool and um, yeah then we've got the dragon expansion which I haven't shown yet so there's a lot uh, a lot of uh, talisman to play hope to see you in one of my next videos until then bye